So we're joined here by Chippenham Town Manager Mike Cook at the Tattenham, home of Paul Town Football Club for this FA Cup second qualifying round fixture. Whistle's just gone, Mike. One all draw. Talk us through that one, mate. Yeah, a bit disappointed with first half again. I didn't think we really got started. They had a couple of good chances um, and, uh, you know, deservedly went that sort of goal up. Um, clawed our way back into the first half in the last sort of 10 minutes I thought and then um, overall a lot better second half to be fair so uh, there only looked like one real winner in the second half I thought we had a few chances um, we've just talked through a couple of the lads what, what were they doing um, with those chances but um, at least we're getting them and I'm sure on another day they would have gone in. Yeah, and I think that was probably one of the things that we spoke about just before we came on live is uh, you know, the chances that we had there. It wasn't a case of the fact that we weren't creating. It just seemed to be a little lack of an edge in front of the goal there. I mean, Marlon had a great chance at the end. Harry had a little uh, had a little glimpse before he went off that just about worked the keeper's hands. We've come down here today. They're not an easy side, Paul, are they? are becoming quite familiar foes to us. Yeah, very good team. Uh, I, I think that... Um the way that they're set up, if if they do get promoted into our league, I think they'll they'll hold their their own. Um, they look very well organised. They've got a little bit of quality. Uh, the fella up front is a handful, the nine, and um, you know we always knew it was going to be a tough battle anyway because of what happened last year and obviously looking at the video this year as well. So um, overall. Um, I'm not too disappointed because at the start we had, you know, that first 25 minutes again. Um, it, you know, it's it's good character for them. It's a little bit of resilience um, on our part, and I thought that 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 worked really well. Yeah, and the changes rang today as well, Mike. Obviously, the team sheet that came out at the start. You did say after the Chelmsford game there was going to be a little bit of <coughs> rotation. There's many players in there that maybe haven't played or featured quite as heavily in the last couple of weeks. We definitely get their nod today. I think five changes from the game uh, against St Albans. Uh, not St Albans, sorry. Five changes from the game against Chelmsford. They've all come in, and I think you know to their credit, they've performed admirably today. Yeah, they've done quite well. I, I mean, I wanted to have a look at um, Griff up front, and um, I thought he did all right in patches. Uh, he still, um, I think, got that academy look to him a little bit, which he looks he looks neat and tidy at times. He's just got to be a little bit more ruthless and a little bit more edgy because he's not the tallest. He's he's got to get the ball into him, and um, you know when we do that, he looks he looks half decent to be fair to him. Um, so, you know, I think there was Alfie came in. He did quite well as well. Harry up front um, need a little bit more from Harry if I'm brutally honest because um, I think there's a player there, um, a definite player there. We see it in training all the time, and I just uh, I think the the change from full time football uh, to part time football um, can take a few months for a few of them. And um, you know, but I'm sure with Griff and him, I think um, you know if we can get them training on a Monday with the academy, for example, and maybe the odd game in the week, then I think that'll bring their fitness up a little bit better. And um, you know, if they have got jobs as well, it's tough going from an environment where they're just a footballer 24/7, and all of a sudden they go with a job and and football, and uh, you know that takes a little bit of time as well. So we'll have to be patient with them. But um, overall, I thought they, they didn't do too bad. So um, even Geno getting a run out as well, um, he needs to probably work on his uh, little bit of fitness. But that's what's going to happen if you don't get any minutes. So um, there's, there's lots of positives there today as well. And, you know, if you come to a place like this and you do get a draw, it's, it's actually not a bad result, really, you know, because they're not a bad team, to be fair to them. So, I mean, full credit as well. I mean, you talk about the differences in leagues. I mean, we've been there ourselves as a team in the Southern League. It was only about four or five short years ago that we were the Southern League side punching above our weight, playing pool and beating them down at our place 4-1. I think, as you probably are very aware, the same as everyone else, it's not a great deal of difference between that sort of bottom 12, the top 12 in the Southern League to the uh, to the National League South. And again, you know, absolutely full credit for coming down here with a side that's, you know, ringing a few changes that may not have necessarily had a chance to play together. I thought, you know, another one of your pre-season sort of picks and... You yeah, one of your shunts, Alex Bray. What a performance again today. Yeah. Capped it off with a goal, yeah. but I mean, it's not even just that, is it? It's the, the work rate he's putting in, the way he's taking on players. He looks like a new signing. Mm. Yeah, and I want my uh, fullbacks to play like wingers, and I've, I've had to sort of, uh, don't tell him this, but I've got a, I've done a little con with him because I'm basically saying my fullbacks are wingers. 
and they have got to be that when we're in possession of the ball and they've got to push on. And I was pleased with young Michael as well uh, on loan from Oxford United because he has trained a little bit with us. I think he's done four sessions now and he's done two games, I think it is. And he's he's definitely looked a little bit better the more that he's trained with us. And, you know, he's the same as Harry and... Um, Griff, that you know he's he's in full time football at the moment, and they do things totally different to the way that we're doing things. So it's credit to him that he's uh, taken that on board, and um, you know I was pleased for everybody's second half because that shows a bit of character, and you know we we won that uh, second half um, easily, and we just couldn't convert the chances basically, which was uh, disappointing. I suppose I can't really make any promises that they won't see this. You certainly, particularly your full backs. I mean, it does go out onto the YouTube. They have got a computers and phones, so <laughs> they may get a glass. But yeah, we talk about minutes and minutes that are going to be available for players over the coming weeks. Obviously, we have got a tough trip away to Concord over um, over the next week, uh, I believe Saturday. But now um, a little bit unscheduled. But Tuesday, we're back at back at the Thornbury Surface in Stadium for a replay against <laughs> today's opponents. Paul, it'll give you a chance to you know shake the desk up a little bit more. Yeah, it will do because obviously we you know, it was a forced change with Adam Mann because he, he would be a starter for me I've got to be honest I absolutely love him he, he was missed today and uh, Spencer as well uh, is a miss he's got a little bit of a problem with his knee at the moment so that's two big players out of that system that we take so we, we've changed the system to accommodate the new players coming in so that's credit to our lads um, for doing that as well so but again I think you know this now means we've got a game Tuesday then Saturday then the following Tuesday as well so we're going to have to rotate the squad around um, I, you know I looked at a few of them today There's, they're falling down they're having cramp you know they're getting treated on the pitch off the pitch we haven't had any of ours go down with any cramp and we've made the changes at the right time when I thought that they were, were getting a little bit tired so you know with Callum coming on for Anxie, um bearing in mind he's had Covid I still don't think he's at the place that he was at this time last year um, Griff's had Covid as well um, he, so we've got to be patient with him and they just don't look at the moment like they're you know full steam ahead for that last 25 minutes at the moment but over the next few weeks with them playing and us rotating a few of the squad um, I'm sure we'll be all right I mean that this you know we've got Sterney to come back in there as well um, I thought Callum did quite well when he came on as well today so we, we've got options and that's what we need yeah, and I suppose it. You know, without meaning to fill anyone with a false sense of hope uh, ahead of the game on Tuesday about it being an easy game because I'm sure it won't be. But your comment there about Paul on a very small squad, um, as it is with this level, you know, they tend to sort of run with a few less players. They very much look content with the one all. They look to you know be draining their own time. It looked like the trip on Tuesday to Chippenham was something they actually wanted. I think maybe fitness might take its toll. We've got a quick turnaround now before Tuesday, but I think we may have enough in the ranks to recover and certainly be fitter out of the two sides on Tuesday night. Well, well, hopefully because we, we looked the fitter of the two teams today I mean that was a hot day and it was it was tough for everybody um, it's, it's not just the fitness and the running around and the physical demand of that but it's what they eat it's what they drink and um, you know we've got a good bunch of lads that are fairly as professional as they can be so um, you know I don't have to be looking over them like a hawk they, they will do the right things and um, you know like I said we're going to have to rotate round again um, don't know what the system will be, but um, you know I'm looking forward to it. Good stuff. Well, Mike has finished one all here, one all here at the Pool Town uh, at the Tottenham. Uh, so we'll let you crack on with your uh, your pre-match well, back to the drawing board. I would have thought ahead of Tuesday, start getting that brain start ticking over nice and early. But congratulations, mate. We're still in the hat. Let's go again Tuesday. Brilliant. Thanks, Simon. Cheers.